So today's topic is flight controls, APA chapter 27. Now we'll come to the first slides. What is a flight control of an aircraft? So we can define the flight controls of an aircraft is like that. Aircraft flight controls are the means by which a pilot controls the direction and attitude of an aircraft in flight. Flight control is a movable aerofoil designed to change the attitude of the aircraft about its three axis during flight. These are the proper definition of a uh, flight control of an aircraft. Once again, aircraft flight controls are the means by which a pilot controls the directions and attitude of an aircraft in the flight. Flight controls are Movable aerofoils, we can define like that. Flight controls are movable aerofoil. This is designed to change the attitude of the aircraft about its three axis during flight. The flight control surfaces are divided into three groups. These groups are primary groups, secondary groups, and last it is auxiliary groups. The primary group consists of ailerons, elevators, and a rudder. The secondary group consists of flaps, slats, slot, spoilers, and speed brakes. The auxiliary group consists of tabs. Now, we'll come to the primary flying control surface of an aircraft. We can define like that. The primary flight control uh, provides the aerodynamic force necessary to make the aircraft follow a desired flight path. The primary flying control will provide the primary flying control surface will provide the necessary aerodynamic force to the aircraft by which aircraft will follow the desired flight path. These are ailerons. The aircraft has two ailerons. These are installed at trailing edge of wing. That is towards outboard portion. This is the outboard portion. Here is the outboard portion. Children are attached to what trailing is outboard portions of main plane. Main plane is also known as the wing. Yeah, wing is also known as the main plane. Again, elevators are attached at trailing is of horizontal stabilizer. Rudder are attached to what trailing is of vertical stabilizer. These are the uh, primary flying control surfaces. We will not cover tab here because tab comes under the auxiliary flying control surface. So in later slide we will discuss about tabs. So primary flying control surfaces are aileron, elevator and rudder. Here in, um, in this picture the aircraft belong to Cessna 172. So Cessna 172 aircraft has, uh, this is the position of ailerons, aircraft has two ailerons, the green one is uh, elevated and red one is rudder. So we can identify the uh, primary flying control surface on Cessna 172 aircraft. This is, uh, blue one is known as the aileron, green one is known as the elevator and red one is known as the rudder. Again here in this picture, here it is aileron, here it is elevator and here it is a rudder. So for identification purpose, so anyone can identify this is ailerons. Ailerons are at wings. Elevator and rudder are at tails in panic portions. So elevator are at treading is of horizontal stabilizer. Rudder are at trailing edge of 
vertical step like that. So in this picture, so uh, 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 this picture consists of a Boeing 737-800. This gives the idea about all flying control surface which is available at Boeing 737-800. It's a combination of primary, secondary and auxiliary. So Boeing 737 aircrafts consist of number one, here it is aileron, it is a primary, elevated and elevator. Apart from that, here the leading edge flap, this is also known as a Kruger flap, S slats, that is also known as the leading edge slats. So one, two, three, four, four slats are there. So here leading edge flap, here again leading edge, uh, leading edge flap, here leading edge slats, here also leading edge slat will be there. So one, two, three, four uh, flight spoilers, two ground spoilers, here two inboard and outboard leading edge flap, inboard flap, outboard flap, it, this is known as the output flap. Stabilizer, horizontal stabilizer, and vertical stabilizer. So these are uh, flying control surface of Boeing 737-800 aircrafts. It consists of all primary, secondary, and auxiliary also. Tab is not covered in this, so there is no any auxiliary. Sorry. So again, um, uh, here uh, tabs are covered. No? So in this picture, it's a clear idea about all primary, secondary, and auxiliary. So here, here again, that is a leading edge slats. That leading is a flap that is also known as a Kruger flap. Aileron, elevator, and rudder. Aileron, aileron consists of this is the balance tab. Number eight and nine, these are the ground spoilers. Number six and seven, these are known as the flight spoilers. This is the outboard flap. Here, inboard flap. Here ground spoiler, here flight spoilers. Again, there is a ground spoilers. Elevator tab, here there is an elevator tab. Here this is an horizontal stabilizer, vertical stabilizer, rudder and elevator. So these are a complete primary, secondary, and auxiliary flying control surface of it. A transport category aircraft that is 0.737. Here again, primary flying controls. So, primary flying controls again, it's aileron, number one aileron, number two aileron, elevators, and rudder. Here, ailerons are uh, power assisted. They required a power from hydraulic system A and B. Manual reversion provision is also available. So what is manual reversion? A changeover from power control to manual control. It may be done automatically in event of hydraulic failure or if you want to control manually. So provision is there. If hydraulic system will get failed. So that is two hydraulic systems are attached with this aileron, hydraulic A and hydraulic B. If both hydraulic will get failed, so provision of manual controls is also available. Now aircraft can uh, control by use of aileron with the conventional control. So provision of manual reversion facilities available at Boeing 737 aircraft. 
again elevator it is also power assisted it is get power from hydraulic system a and b provision of manual reversion is there if hydraulic system will get fail automatically the system will come in manual that uh, come uh, that we can say manual control come it's conventional control through control cable linkage so uh, uh, again with elron balance tab is attached with elevator also balance tab is attached a rudder is fully power line control surface it gave power from hydraulic system a and b or there should no any standby there should no any manual reversion and finally there should there is no any tab attached with the adapter now going 737 at cup here are the secondary flying controls now oh, kruger flaps are there now inboard spoilers are there they generally uh, operate on grounds they uh, power uh, through hydraulic system a there are four slats on each wing they require power from hydraulic system b four spoilers that is for flight spoilers on each wing generally powered by hydraulic system a and b we have uh, here inboard and outboard double slotted trailing edge flaps normally powered with the hydraulic system b alternate the standby there is an electric motor also attached with the flap in case of hydraulic failure the flap can be operated electrically is a horizontal stabilizer movable horizontal stabilizer movable horizontal stabilizer or by electric motor for manual trim automatically can uh, operate it in autopilot system manually can be uh, operated by cable from trim wheel in the cockpit in cockpit there is a trim wheel we can control the uh, trim angle of horizontal stabilizer through cockpit by trim wheel so here there was t20 flight controls here it leading edge there is in slats this is elron deflected up upward there is a flap outward flap this is a spoiler this is a ground spoiler This is a flight spoiler, and this is a ground spoiler. Here, this is the inner flap. Oh, these are known as a flap a flap fairing. Flap fairing. This this one, this exposed portion is known as flap track fairing. So these are the all. Flight controls of Airbus three twenty. We have ground spoiler, roll spoilers, flaps, slats, ailerons, speed brakes, triangle horizontal stabilizer, elevator, rudder. This is vertical stabilizer. This is a Kruger flap, also known as the leading edge flap. It consists of. Boeing seven four seven aircraft. It is in ex extended portions. That is extended at Boeing seven four seven aircraft. Leading is flap, Kruger flap. So <clears throat> that one person is cleaning. Technician is uh, cleaning the leading is flap. So <clears throat> triple slotted. That we can say triple slotted one two and three. So now, axis of an aircraft. There are three axes of an aircraft. All are three axes passes from center of gravity. Axes are roll axis, pitch axis, and yaw axis. Now, better we can say longitudinal axis, 
lateral axis and vertical axis. Longitudinal axis is also known as the roll axis. Lateral axis is also known as the pitch axis. And normal vertical axis is also known as the jaw axis. All three axes are passes from center of gravity of an aircraft. So now, one by one, we'll cover the all three axes. Number one is known as the longitudinal axis. So longitudinal axis is lengthwise from nose to tail through center of gravity. Lengthwise from nose to tail through center of gravity. So from nose to tail. And since all axis are passes from center of, uh, center of gravity, so longitudinal axis is also passes from center of gravity. Rotations about longitudinal axis is called roll. Roll will about the longitudinal axis of an aircraft. That's why this is also known as the roll axis. So why it is uh, known as roll axis? Because longitude rolling motion will be about longitudinal axis. That's why it is also known as the roll axis. Similarly, pitching motions is about lateral axis. That's why it is also known as the pitch axis. Yawing motion is also about normal or vertical axis. That's why it is also known as the yaw axis. So rolling is produced by movement of ailerons. So here ailerons will produce the rolling motions. Rolling is produced by the movement of ailerons. So ailerons will one L1 will go up and other will go down L1 will move in difference there uh, there is said to be differential movement L1 has differential movement that means one L1 will go up and second will go down that we that we can say L1 will move in opposite directions so rolling is produced by the movement of L1 so either the aircraft will roll right and roll left that uh, but condition will uh, <coughs> look in another chapters. Then lateral axis. That lateral axis span wise from wing tip to wing tip through center of gravity. That we can say span wise, span wise, wing tip to wing tip. One, one wing tip to another wing tip is known as the span wise. So, span wise and passes from center of gravity, this is a lateral axis. Rotation about this axis is known as the pitch. Nose up and nose down is the pitching moment. Pitching is produced by the movement of elevator. Elevator is responsible to provide the pitching moment, either pitch up and pitch down. Again, uh, that <coughs> pitch up and pitch down, that condition will study in different slides. Now, normal or vertical axis passes from top to bottom of aircraft through center of gravity. Thus, this normal and vertical axis is at right angle to longitudinal lateral axis since all axis are passes from center of gravity. That's why now normal and vertical axis are right angle to longitudinal and lateral axis. Rotation of this axis is called yaw. Yawing is produced by movement of rudder. Now, types of stability and motions. We have three uh, kinds of stability. One is known as a longitudinal stability. Second is known as a lateral stability. Third one is known as a directional stability. We have three axes, lateral axis, longitudinal axis, and normal axis. And we have three uh, motion, pitch, roll, and yaw. 
So we can combine the stability axis and motions like that. Longitudinal stability along lateral axis and pitching motions is about lateral axis. Now, pitch stability is also known as the longitudinal stability. Lateral stability is along longitudinal axis and rolling motions is about longitudinal axis. Air curve is stable towards rule that air curve has good lateral stability. Your stability is also known as the directional stability. And directional stability is along normal axis. Yawing motion is about normal axis. So now we can uh, correlate this uh, uh, stability axis and motions. It's very easy to remember it. So we have three kinds of stability. We have uh, three kinds of axes and we have three kinds of motions. Here, lateral axis, pitching motions, longitudinal axis, rolling motions, normal axis, yawing motions. Since all axes are passes from center of gravity, so now it's all about the basics. And tomorrow we'll study the primary flying control surface. First is alone, then we'll go for elevator and finally it's the